Hello, this is Alex, known as Alex4D on the old internet. And uh, this is a video about doing something pretty dangerous with Final Cut Pro 10. So if you want to risk a lot to find out some secret stuff in Final Cut Pro 10, then do this. Um, a few years ago, I discovered there was a secret debug mode in Final Cut Pro 10, a special mode for the programmers to find out, um, to sort out problems with Final Cut Pro 10, a secret preference panel. So when do you go to preferences here? you should be able to see, if you were one of the programmers, special secret preferences. But this is a normal copy of Final Cut Pro 10. How do you be able to enable the special secret preferences? Well, it turns out there is a way of doing it with your copy of Final Cut Pro 10. But this is living dangerously. Be very careful when you do this. It may be a good idea to use a second copy of Final Cut Pro 10 or do it on a different computer, because who knows what it might do. So, what we want to do is have secret debug preferences. So, first thing to do is quit out of Final Cut Pro 10. And there's the blog from uh, the uh, Chris Hocking of Late Night Films, who um, discovered a much simpler way of doing it, and a way of finding out, trying out these various um, preferences. So, I'll put the link in the description of this video. So the first thing to do is, there's my copy of Final Cut Pro 10 on my hard drive. I'll hold down the control key and click Final Cut Pro 10 and I'm going to choose Show Package Contents. And this opens a special window inside Final, uh, that shows the, the Final Cut Pro 10 on the inside of it. So the idea is open up Contents, go inside Resources and go inside EN which stands for English. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to make Final Cut Pro 10 think one preference panel is another. So what we're going to do is go to, we want, if you look carefully here, if I can actually find it. There's the debug preferences. So I can sort by name here. And I'm going to open up uh, the, this in, in a new folder so I can see it. There. I want this debug preferences module to be generally be, uh, generally available. So the first thing to do is pick another panel that I won't be able to use. So you do that by, say, the share preferences module and rename it. So I'm going to call it original because that is the real, um, or let's call it real, the real um, share preferences module, in other words, the share preference panel. So I'm going to press return to rename it, it's going to ask me to put my password in because I'm modifying the inside of an application. So that is the old preferences panel. So what I want to do is if I rename the debug preferences panel the same one as this one, the same name as this one, then I'll be able to use it. But I want to be able to keep this name for later. So what I'm going to do is select this, choose copy, and then paste it somewhere useful say in a uh, text in a text document. And now what I'm going to get it to do is get the PA uh, share preferences module and I'm going to rename the debug preferences module the share preferences module. So I did copy and now I'm going to do paste and again it's going to ask for my password. Right, now let's start uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and see what happens. <laughs> so this is the current version of Final Cut Pro 10 and I go to Final Cut Pro, go to Preferences and if I go to Destinations so instead of the Share Destinations uh, Preference Panel even though it says Destinations up here we've got the Secret Debug uh, Control so what I can do is choose between two pages worth of um, settings so let's see what happens if I click Guards, Experimental Settings. So I'm going to click that, close, and I'm going to close this panel. And look, I have a timecode overlay, which allows me to see the name of the clip that's uh, currently displaying and also what timecode is. It's in, in interior timecode. How interesting. So check it out. Go to Preferences, and if you go to Destinations, there's lots of mysterious settings, most of which don't do anything. But say you want to go back. Say you want to go back to the way it was before. Well, what you need to do 
is quit out of Final Cut Pro and change everything back. Now, of course, the best advice is to use a separate copy of Final Cut Pro. But say I don't want to do that. So the first thing to do is to get the old name of the Debug Preferences module and go to this, which is actually the Debug Preferences module, but it's got the, uh, the, the other name. I'm going to rename it. So I did a copy and now I'm going to do paste. And then I'm going to rename the Share Preferences module and take my suffix off the end. And now I want to go into uh, Final Cut Pro. I have this new setting. I can still see the time code. Oops. But if I go to Preferences, I've got my old settings back. So be very careful. Try it out. Who knows what you'll find. But watch out, of course. As you saw there, even though I changed the preferences back to the way they were before, the fact that I changed the guards to show the timecode meant that the timecode is still visible, and I have no way of turning it off until I make the debug preferences panel visible again. If you want more Final Cut Pro 10 stuff, go to alex4d.com for a blog and plugins. Final Cut Pro 10, Alex4D.